Hey, what's going on YouTube? In this video, I'll share with you some useful tech that you can get on eBay and all of the items I'll mention are under $3 and the links will be listed in the description below, so let's start. The first item on the list is an OTG adapter. This adapter allows you to connect a USB device on your Android phone. It can come in handy if you shoot a lot of video or take pictures on your phone because you can quickly transfer files to a flash drive to free up space. You can also plug in a mouse and keyboard and use it as a mini PC. You can get the adapter for under a dollar and there are versions with and without the cable. The next two items are great if you want to improve your audio quality on your YouTube videos. Since my main editing rig is a laptop, I don't have a dedicated 3.5mm microphone port, so I'm stuck with the built-in mic or headset mics which are not that good most of the time because they produce a lot of background noise. You can get a USB audio adapter and a lavalier mic and have a way better audio for around $2. You can check out my previous video where I did a more in-depth review of those two items by clicking the annotation or the link in the description. Next up is a wireless mouse. It's always good to have one and the one I got is very cheap and gets the job done. It comes with 6 buttons, it has a slot for the USB receiver and it requires 2 AA batteries which are not included and it's great for browsing but not so much for gaming even though it's advertised as a gaming mouse. What I like about it is that it has a speed button which enables you to change the cursor speed between three different modes. Overall it looks great, you can get it in different colors and for a little bit less than $3 I think it's a great deal. Next up we have attachable lenses for your phone. They are compatible with most iPhone and Samsung phones and for the detailed list of compatible devices you can check out the link in the description. You get a wide angle lens, a fisheye lens and a macro lens. It also comes with the clip so you can attach it very easily on your phone, but you have to adjust it a little bit so you don't get a lot of vignetting. I found the fisheye lens most useful for video since in photo mode the vignette is much more visible on the iPhone. When you put the lens on an iPhone it might cover the flashlight so you won't be able to use it while recording, but on my Samsung it didn't cover the flashlight so it depends on the phone. The fisheye and wide angle lenses are useful in tight situations where you need a wide angle coverage like recording in a small room and the macro lens is great for those macro shots that the stock camera cannot do. You can get the lenses for around $2 and if you want to see more in-depth tutorial or review let me know in the comments below. If you happen to have a PS2 controller and would like to use it on your PC you can get this adapter that lets you connect your controller to your USB port and play your games on your PC. It has two ports, so you can plug in two controllers for multiplayer. The adapter is a little bit over $2. The last item I wanted to share with you is an NFC tag. NFC tags are little stickers that you can program different tasks to and activate them when you put your phone on the sticker. So for example, before you go to bed, you want to turn off sounds, Wi-Fi and mobile data on your phone quickly, you just put your phone on the tag and it triggers those tasks. The stickers cost around $2 and you can get them also as keychains. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Cheers!